Hey guys, it's Min here from On a Stamp Page again. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun pointillism technique. Um, it's where you color with dots. I was playing around with this this past month with some products from a company called The Stamps of Life. I'm new to their design team and this candle is just absolutely perfect for doing this pointillism technique. So let me see if I can show you closer. Do you see how there's a bunch of little dots? Anyway, it's really easy to recreate, but I thought I'd just share really quick in case you were like, oh, I don't know if I can do that, because anybody can do that. Before I show you that, let me show you the products that I used to make this uh, this uh, candle. I, I used this lined image from the Candles for Birthday stamp set. And then it coordinates with these dies. These are the big can or the candles club die set. Okay. And this is what I use to cut it out with. This gives the nice um, border around it. So I'm going to push those over. And I stamped in this licorice ink. So this is what it looks like after you stamp it and you cut it out. It has just a nice border around it. It's blank and it's ready to go. Um, the other product that I used on this card with three candles is an embossing folder. This is new this month from the Stamps of Life. It's really super fun. I can't remember the name of it. Hold on, let me look. Flower Power. Well, that was kind of duh. But anyway, so Flower Power. So I used that on the back of my card here to create some texture. I love it. It's, so, it's just such a fun little flowery design and it's perfect for spring. So grab that too. Okay, so I have my candle. I have it stamped with licorice ink. I have it die cut out with the Candle Club dies. And I'm gonna be using Spectrum Noir markers. So um, I'm gonna show you with a blue. So I've got my blender. I've got my three blues. I've got BT4, BT5, and BT7. And then for the wick, I'm using CT2, CT4, and OR1. Um, I don't know what the coordinating ones are for Copics, but if you do know, that would be great. You could link that down in the comments. Anyway, okay, so the first step is to take your lightest color that you're using for your candle, and I actually need to move these out of the way. And you're going to fill in this bottom portion with that lightest color. And I don't know if you have a whole lot of exposure with alcohol ink pens, but I've found that if you don't color too closely to the edge of your lined items, or images, sorry, not items, I can't really think in color at the same time very well, so I'm really sorry if I mess up. Anyway, if you don't color too closely to the edge, you won't get any feathering. And actually, I'm very, I was very, very pleasantly surprised about this licorice ink. It doesn't really feather at all. So I did my BT4. Then I like to take a blender pen and just kind of go over it quickly. It kind of creates a fun textured look, I think, and it starts to bleed the ink out a little bit, so it looks kind of like it fades. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's what happens. Then you're going to take your next color, so I'm going to be using the BT5 fine tip, and you're going to kind of go in a circular motion, little dots all the way out, and I'm kind of going three dots deep, if that makes sense. So little circular motions all the way down your shaded side, and then I also go across the bottom. Okay, so that's my first layer of dots. So to reiterate, colored it with a BT4, blendered it, dotting with the BT5. Now I'm taking BT7, and I'm going to do the same thing down the side except for this one is only going to be about one to two dots deep at the most because this is where the shading comes in. Okay, so I've got those dots. Next what I did was I took my blender again and I'm using the broad side, the chisel side, and I do a quick sweep up and quick sweeps over. This just kind of blends things a little bit better I don't know. 
I like doing it because I feel like I've finished something. So that is how I did the bottom part. So let me give you a closer look. Okay, so you're going from light to dark. Okay, now I'm going to do the, uh, the flame, the little flame. So I'm going to take CT2, color it with the fine tip right around in here. Like I said, this black licorice ink does not feather very much, so actually, I keep saying it doesn't feather very much, but it really doesn't feather at all, which is nice. I'm going to take my blender pen again, and I'm doing the fine tip because this is a smaller thing. I guess you can't really see when I put my finger there. And I'm just quickly moving it around there to start. It starts to fade in the middle is what I like when you use your blender pen like that. Okay, now I'm taking CT4. down the side. This, because it's a smaller image, I'm just doing too deep. And I did do a little bit over here on this corner too, not just down one side, because I feel like if it's casting a shadow, it's going to go all the way around like that. So that's why I do that. Now I'm going to take my OR1, and I'm just going to do single dots, kind of in a zigzaggy pattern. If that makes sense, you know, we go do, 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 all the way down the side, okay? So that was OR1 down the side. Now I'm going to take my blender pen again, and instead of using the chisel side, I'm going to use the fine tip, and I'm going to do the same thing I did down here. I'm going to blend up and then over, okay? And that is it. You've created your candle. Let me see if I can get it closer to you. There you go. You can use all sorts of different colors. As you can see, I really like the blue. That's why I used it in my example. Um, that's what I did the first time around in this card. And then in this card, I played around with a couple of other colors. I did the blue again. I did some greens. I think these are LGs. And I did some purples. And I can't remember which ones these are. But, I mean, the the possibilities are unless you could do pinks, you could do reds. So any color works with this pointillism technique. I haven't tried it with any other type of ink other than alcohol markers, so I can't attest to that. But like I just showed you, it was really quick and simple. So I hope that you take the time to uh, try this technique out and that you go over to the Stamps of Life and grab these fabulous products. And I will be back later with another technique video. Until then, happy stamping, friends.